All right, get ready for my hero shot here. It's a shed. <laughs> There will be no hero shot with this big buck this year, unfortunately, not on Death by Bungie anyway. Um, I found this shed, uh, it's kind of a Christmas present. I was coming in the day after Christmas, walking down the little road over here. Day after Christmas is when our late crossbow season starts here in Pennsylvania. And I was heading in to go hunting and sure enough, going down the road, I found this sticking out of the mud like this. Um, happy to have it happy to hang it on the wall i'd love to have the other one along with the rest of the deer but this will look good hanging on the wall just the same so what i'm going to do later in the season i'll build a little plaque for it hang it on the wall and remember it forever this was the deer that could have been this is a, a shed off of the big buck that i saw in my food plot you might remember he's the one that attacked my decoy uh, and i did see him on one occasion later in the evening uh, didn't come into the food plot, but he was around the edge of it. So I saw him in person this year, um, both at dark after shooting hours, um, but also during the day uh, when I could have taken a shot, but he was too far out. Never got a shot at him. Um, and it looks like the late season, which has now ended, did not produce a shot for this buck either. As far as the late season is concerned, that day I did go down. Uh, I figured out why also, you may, may remember one of my videos I had, I called it the, the worst tree stand ever. It was in what I thought was going to be a high traffic area and it turned out it wasn't. Well here in the late season I ventured deeper into the woods. I try to stay out of there until the later, as the season progresses, um, I try to entice the deer to come to me over these food plots earlier in the season. That wasn't working quite as well as the season progresses. So in the late season, I went down there and sure enough, I found out where the beavers had been awful busy. There's three beaver lodges on the one beaver pond uh, and they've been very busy. In fact, the, I sat there with the beavers that morning and watched them mess around on the dam and stuff in the early morning. But at least I figured out why it was the worst tree stand ever. The beavers had dammed up that whole area and the spots where the deer used to cross, the spots where I was familiar with them crossing, uh, were now just standing water. So the deer couldn't get through to where I had put that tree stand. All this had happened in the last year or so, and it just shows that your preseason scouting, you gotta take that into account. The deer after our second crossbow season, which is the rifle season here in Pennsylvania, the deer after that season, tend to lay low. They're coming out later and later, coming out after dark. Of course, it's getting dark real, real early. Um, once the late season starts, it's going the other way. It gets dark a little bit later, and the deer usually can't hold off as long. And by January 5th or so, right in the beginning of the new year, we're halfway through the late season. The deer start coming out into the food plots before dark, and it has a lot to do with the fact that it was cold too. It finally started getting real cold. Once it gets down 10 degrees or something like that during the day, the deer will come out during the day. So you need those cold snaps. And sure enough, I saw a whole bunch of does over here in the maples that eventually made their way out across the food plot. They walked through and uh, I, you know, I've already filled all my doe tags. So, but it was nice to see them. It's nice to see a bunch of healthy deer after the most of the Pennsylvania seasons are complete. As far as the other half of this guy is concerned, my daughter and I looked for it. We spent uh, about four hours, maybe a little bit longer, walking through the woods here. I found it right here. Uh, so we looked, not, obviously started looking here first. From everything I've read, uh, the older bucks lose their antlers first, and that's one of the reasons uh, I found, was lucky enough to find this. But I, and I also read that they tend to lose them together, uh, pretty close to each other, that they're not gonna be too far apart. Uh, we scoured the area. We walked through here like you wouldn't believe. Then we walked all the swampier areas, the brushy, brushy areas. While we were walking along, I did find feathers from a turkey that had been attacked. I don't know if a fisher is to blame for that or what, but uh, that's never nice to see. I also found uh, a fawn that had been killed, uh, the carcass of a fawn down there in the swamp. That's never nice to see. I suspect that was one of the, it looked 
very immature, very young. It was definitely a fawn. It was definitely this year's deer, but um, uh, I suspect it was one that I had seen over here in this food plot that did not look quite big enough to get through the winter season. It's one of the reasons I shoot does is I want to get those numbers back to closer to 50-50. Right now I'm about 10 to 1, I think, as far as puck to doe ratio is concerned. And that's too much. That's not a good healthy ratio. So I'm trying to get those numbers back toward 50-50, closer, so that you avoid having those fawns that are bred late, that end up having uh, fawns later in the year, and then repeating that cycle of having these later fawns. Um, I like to have nice healthy deer going into the winter season. Well, now that this is conquered here and I found this, now that the seasons are over, the next step for me is going to be putting out the feeders. I'll have a video on that before too long. So stay tuned to Death by Bungie. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I hope to have a lot more interesting stuff coming up. I'm going to put up some of my old hunts and the hunts that I've had here in the past. Uh, I'm going to do a recap of the 2000. Uh, 14 to 2015 season um, and I'm also going to do some other stuff some uh, cooking uh, some recipes and stuff like that a lot of neat stuff coming up on Death by Bungie so I hope you have enjoyed what's happened so far this year I hope all of you are having a happy new year and I look forward to a lot more Death, Death by Bungie, Bungie in the near future